Hi there, Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com. Uh, the time is 1.27 in the morning. The date is uh, 6th of March, 2014. And uh, let me see, I got this email sent to me by Love. I don't want to give a real name. Her name is Love. Okay. Hi, hey, Loy. I must start by saying you are a very interesting person. Thank you very much. Uh, my question to you is, do you think you generalize your experience to everyone else? Okay. Um, see, what I do is, I, um, whenever I give anyone a piece of advice, I, I normally give them my example because uh, I can only speak from the experiences I have had. It, it makes no sense. Like, for example, you have a priest who speaks about living a happy married life when he doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have children. You have people who are not qualified to give you advice, like school teachers telling you how to succeed in life when they are just school teachers. So me talking about, uh, let's say, uh, you know, a subject that I do not know, let's say photography. If you ask me questions on photography, I don't know anything of photography. If you ask me, let's say, uh, the, the process or procedure to get into Harvard's business school, I wouldn't know. I can only give you some vague idea, like study hard, focus and all. So I, I normally tend to focus on my experience and how that translates to someone else. So if I don't know something, I say I don't know. And do I generalize my experience? Well, I do not give specific details if that is what you're asking. Because sometimes if you move into specific details on literally everything, I don't think anyone would uh, understand the gist of the message. So uh, in question, uh, do I generalize my experience to everyone else? Uh, not actually, no, it is subjective. Second one, do you think your videos can encourage misbehavior towards parents even though the parents is not at fault? Um, see, anything can be taken in the right way or the wrong way. Now, let's say, for example, I tell someone, uh, like when I was young, I was, I used to read Arnold Schwarzenegger's book that said, no gain, no pain. Okay. That is in relation to bodybuilding or doing exercise. Now, that is a good principle because unless you pass through the pain threshold, your, your body is not going to grow. But what I did was, uh, even when my joints used to pain, I used to train with not only weights, I used to train with super heavy weights, which is why I damaged both my knees. I hurt both my elbows, my wrists were paining, my lower back is injured, and I've had multiple injuries. So uh, it, it depends on what context you take it. Now, I'm not telling kids to go and start bashing up their parents. There are a lot of parents who bring their kids to me. I bash them up literally verbally because there are some kids who are really a pain in the ass. There are some kids who really are ungrateful. But then you need to understand this kids are a result of the parental upbringing. So I'm not trying to encourage kids to start being bad to their parents. However, if the parent doesn't know how to take care of the kid and if the parent misbehaves or misuses the authority or the rights that they have, well, then I think they ought to rebel. Okay. So do I encourage uh, kids to misbehave uh, uh, to their parents? I, that is not the objective and I don't think so. However, if they take it the wrong way, well, I, I can't help it because that is how they took the advice. So, do you feel insecure about yourself? Uh, I don't know, actually. Do I feel insecure? Uh, let's say, let's put it this way. Uh, there are times I do feel insecure. So, what I do is I work hard to study. I work hard to uh, grow, improve. Like, for example, now, because I feel insecure of the fact that uh, I'm unhealthy, I'm trying hard to lose weight. Because I feel insecure of the fact that I do not know as much as the other person, I study very hard. Because I feel insecure of the fact that um, I'm, I don't stand out, so I do whatever it takes to stand out from the tattoos to everything else. So, yes, there are bits of me that do feel insecure. I, I wish I was a perfect person that didn't feel that. Uh, but yes, th there are times, yeah. And I would like to mention that I'm a very spiritual person. Okay, good. I'm currently doing my 12th, but whenever I get time, I increase my knowledge about different religions, which is good. And I've got into debates with atheists. And they would keep forcing their beliefs upon others. Uh, atheists do not have beliefs. Okay. They do not have beliefs. Being an atheist is uh, devoid of beliefs. Okay. Uh, they might, they might, uh, you know, they might force their point of view. That is what an atheist might do, but not his belief. But I really like the fact how you keep your beliefs to yourself. I, if you're talking in terms of religion, um, Real, faith is believing in something without evidence and in terms of atheists we do not believe in uh, uh, anything that does not have proof so we are looking at proof 
So I don't know if you call that beliefs in a spiritual sense. Okay, you keep your beliefs to yourself and do not force it on other people because, well, I, I don't do it because it, it doesn't make sense. Why should I force anyone to believe anything? You can believe whatever you want. Uh, you are different and that's what I like about you. Thank you very much. Uh, my dear love, um, it has been very nice to get a letter like this. I think uh, you're an intellect and uh, very respectful and I think you have a beautiful way of putting your words across. So thank you very much for writing to me and uh, do feel free to add me on Facebook if you want and uh, keep in touch. Goodbye for now. Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com.